All right, we are going to create a to-do list app right now. Uh, for the interface, we are going to first add a row. I'm going to add a label to that row. Next, I'm going to add a list viewer. Right now, I'm just dragging and dropping everything. We're going to arrange it in a minute. I am going to need a button. And I am also going to need a text box or text input again. Right now, you'll see it's a little bit of a mess. So I'm just going to quickly arrange things over here. I want text input outside. I want the button outside. All I want is that label should be inside. Apart from that, everything should be outside. Still a lot of mess. We are going to push the row to the very top there. I also want to decrease the height to go to fill contents for the row. There you go. I need another row for the button and the text input. So I have just added that here. Drag and drop the button here and the text input. Yeah, that's it. And I'm going to drag this row to the very end. So let's just do that. I need a list viewer in between. And no, not inside the row. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to decrease the height of this row. I'm going to go for fill contents. Maybe I can even decrease it in relative size. I'll go for something like 20%. Maybe that's a lot. 15? Yeah, 15 looks good. Let's do the same for the top row. Go for height. I'm going to go for relative size. And let's go for 15%. Oh, too much. 10. Yeah, that's it. Next, I'm going to color it. Um, I'm going to choose a background color to be a nice blue. I'm going to go for label. I'm going to go and change the text color here to white. And I am going to change the font size to 20. Maybe more. Um, let's go for 30. Yeah, that's good. Write down my to do list. And you can see that your text, whatever you enter over here, comes over here. That's my interface. There's a list viewer. Here is where all the list items will appear. Here, if I want to add another list item, it will. that's what the text box is for. Button will be to submit. Let's just change the text here to add. Right? We can even change the names from here. Right now, I've kept it as button 1. Let's write button add. And let's see the preview ones. Okay, decent enough. Let's code for this now. What we are going to do is, we are going to first add some default values to the list viewer. You just simply have to go to screen, take the block when screen one dot opens, go to list viewer and set text items. Now this text items of a list viewer will be multiple text items, it's S, right? So it will be actually a whole list of things. So before you add items to it, we are going to create a variable, initialize app variable, and this variable is going to hold multiple values. That's where the list comes into the picture. I just went to the list and dragged the first block what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this math block so I don't need it, right? We can alternatively press backspace. I'm going to add text values to it. So that's where you get it from. You can duplicate or not add comment. By the way, that was also a useful function. We'll see later. I'm going to write something like simple. Welcome to my to do list. 
up, type into the text box, and add click here. Enter the item. Next, I'm going to write click on the item, delete list. Right. Now, let's see. So, this is a variable that is holding three values in form of a list right now. Right now, if you see, it will your list doesn't contain anything, but your variable does. So to actually make your list contain the same things, we are going to set, whenever the screen opens, we are going to set those items to the variable that we have just created. I'm going to change its name as well. I'm going to keep it like a list. Yeah, reasonable name. Click on live test and there you go. So this is how it appears. This arrows also appear. So don't worry about them. That's how this viewer looks like. And you can see that your items are there. Right now, we have not coded for adding items. So that function is not working. Let's do that next. So we have button add. We are just going to use that when button add dot click. What we want at that time, we want to add items to this particular list, the variable that we have made. I'm going to go to lists. There is something called insert here in list insert at last here you have options actually last or first or random logically what makes sense is last so we are going to go with that but you can experiment further the list name is app variable list i'm going to duplicate here and the text item we are going to add that we are actually going to pull from whatever user types in this text box so let's do that. Let's go to text input and you will see there is a property called text and we are going to just put it inside. Let's live test this thing. I'm going to add over here. Design is cool. Let's click on add. Okay, so it adds ABC for now. So obviously there's an error somewhere. All right, let's try this again. Right. Design can be error. Right. Prone. And add. And yeah, that's it. Perfect. So we have learned how to add items. Now we don't know how to delete items. We still haven't updated. So we can, we should do this for safety sake. So Duplicate this and add to here. The list gets updated immediately. Now let's remove items. We want to remove items when you click on the list item. So there is a event for that. List here dot click. And there's a block to remove things. And that is somewhere here. In list remove number. What this block says is that in this particular list, remove this number item. We have the list name with us, app variable list, and we know the item number. The item number you get from this block, the block that is already attached to this. Take that and drag and drop. You are going to update that list right now. We are going to duplicate this. And that's it. Let's do live test. There you go. You can delete things now. We can delete things now. So yes, we can add and we can delete. Now, if you see the number one problem here is that even if the item is added, the text still remains, which is not a good UI. So we should reset that. So we are going to do that now. Otherwise, there will be multiple entries and it just doesn't look good. So we are going to do that. So every time that button is clicked and the item is added, we want the text box to appear empty. So we're going to go to text input. Let's take text, just drag and drop here and 
Since this particular part is empty, we are all set. Let's test this. I am writing add. Okay, it did not reset. Let's see what could be the problem. Let's live test again. Testing. Oh, good. It did reset. Sometimes it might happen when you're testing, so don't worry. Just test again and again, and you'll get it. This is how you are adding item to the list and removing item to the list.